the, the project we are about 20% of uh, uh, that we have completion in this project so it is a project that is previewed to be concluded in April 2024 so we are in the initial uh, stage of the structure uh, we have uh, passed by uh, the initial phase which is more difficult which is to get out of the ground so this is already accomplished uh, we are now in the second floor of the building and as you can see over there one of the main challenges that we had was to demolish that building that we had to import machines uh, from abroad that have the, the, the range capability to start the, the demolition in a safety way. Uh, it went uh, uh, slower than we have preview, but it went very well. We didn't have any any accident on this uh, uh, demolition, so no one got injured in these demolitions, which was uh, a main concern that that we had. So I would say the the things are, are going well. Uh, there is no much more to say because we are in the very beginning, but the block works as you have passed through the area has starts and so and we uh, the execution of the, the project design the execution project design uh, is already concluded and in the final discussions uh, with with the client so we believe that january and february we can uh, uh, do uh, start to these constructions in in, in a more, uh, more quicker uh, uh, pace. So we believe that we are preparing ourselves for that. Uh, on behalf of the management, let me say that so far we are very much pleased with the collaboration that has gone on as far as this work is concerned. I think this is one work that we've had enormous collaboration in discussing all the uh, civil work design from the outset and we're taking due cognizance of our needs and especially to also meet future, future uh, expectations. So the design is actually, I mean, a very modern one. And let me say that the execution of work has been very satisfactory. I would say very good because given the initial challenges that we had, and for them to have come far with 20% civil work uh, uh, completion, is very impressive. Some of us drive through here, they are working day and night and at the weekends. And even as I speak, we have a strategy to do a lot of things ahead of time. Currently, we have a scheduled engagement to even discuss the equipment uh, anytime next week so that they can prepare the procurement of equipment even ahead of time so that at the time of uh, civil work completion, the installation of equipment will come in very timely. So I think so far, so good. This, of this whole project started with, the, started with the possibility of we completing the over 40 year old uh, children, a, a maternal and children block. That was started during the time of the late Kutuwe Champo. Uh, but at a point, even though the contract had been signed, it came, became necessary that uh, we needed to do structural integrity of the old building. And after the structural inte integrity test, it failed. And when it failed, there was the need to demolish the old structure and rather put up a new structure. There was a lot of problems, you know, people were of the opinion that what, why don't we do some changes in the old structure and then continue with it so that we complete faster. But you realize that it's human life that we are talking about. If we had continued with it, anything at all could have happened. At a point, we came here with the media. Uh, I'm not too sure whether all of you were, were with us. We came and we showed you the nature of the structure, and we could use your hands to disintegrate even, even the concrete work. So we realized that it wasn't good. The type of iron rocks that were used were smaller than what we expected uh, to have been used. So at the end, the final decision was taken to construct a new one. I'm, I'm marveled at the rate at which they are moving. In fact, uh, contractors know that we are here on their ground and pressing them. Almost all the projects that they are undertaking within the region, in fact, uh, they are delivering and I'm sure they will deliver all of them on time. This project, apart from the OPD, which is just a single structure, the main hospital block 
including the basement, is seven story. So we are going to have seven floors, including the basement. Where we are standing now is the second floor. And after these columns, they are going to lay the, the, floor, the floor for the, the third one. And hopefully, as they are saying, they will complete by April 2024. I have no doubt that they are going to complete this project. This project is dear to the leadership of the region. That's to the mayor, to the regional minister, and then the management of Konfuanochi Teaching Hospital. We want to see the completion of this project for the betterment of our people and assessing quality healthcare services within the region. We pray that uh, nothing untoward will happen. They will go on schedule and complete this project in due time. Uh, contractor, I thank you very much on behalf of the President of the Republic of Ghana. I thank you on behalf of Utunfo Osei Tutu, the second Asante Hine, and all the good people of the Ashanti region for the excellent work you are doing.